welcome to another video and today we're looking at white scars. So I've been busy uh, playing around with my white scars and uh, and I've gone for something like this. Now, um, if you can hear a noise in the background, that's my new light system. I didn't actually realise it was going to be so loud and so freakingly hot. Uh, my painting room is quite small and my new lights um, are massive. Uh, they're studio lights and I've got to say... Uh, they're fan assisted and really really hot. I'm actually sweating here right now. Okay, so let's have a look at this mini So I'm building my white scars. I'm enjoying doing the white scars and I've got to say uh, It's been really really cool so far exploring them and uh, And playing around now. I wanted a psyker because as you know every army I play doesn't allow psychers black templars imperial fists world eaters um, so now I'm playing White Scars and I can legitimately have a Psyker in my army. So this is what I've gone for. Now it's a bit of a conversion. Uh, I've had to chop up arms and hands, uh, add green stuff and some other bits and pieces just to give it a little bit of a flavour of it being completely different. And I've also been looking at Neil Roberts' um, artwork on the front of uh, the Scars book and other bits and pieces uh, that I've managed to find. Uh, for inspiration when it comes to markings and all sorts of bits and pieces like that. Now I wanted to build an army um, and you can't have, I don't think, a decent Scars army without a Psyker of some sort because it just fits in with their whole meth uh, 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 ethos along with the, the Shaman of a tribe. You need the Psyker for them to to converse with and talk about omens and stuff like that. Now I've gone for the glowing eyes which is represented on the staff and on the face as well just to show there's some sort of power behind there uh, as he sees into the future of some sort. Um, as you can see I've added uh, green stuff furs uh, to the front there and on the uh, shoulder, um, uh, shoulder pad just there as well. Um, and it's come out quite nicely. I mean, it's got a lot going on for it. Again, you've got the, the battle damage in there, which I, I go for with everything. Um, I've chopped up the staff uh, from, a crumb, uh, from a puppet's wall part uh, to a 40k um, uh, weapon there, which is a hammer, I think it was. Uh, and I've added that for my beastmen. Now, you'll be seeing my beastmen very soon. I have been working on them. Um, they've just been put aside while I work on other projects. Um, but so far, this has come out quite nicely. So here's my uh, my shaman. I don't know. I can't remember what they're called. I, I've got to listen to the audio book again. Um, but this is my interpretation. And I've used a puppet wall's head uh, on the top there with a green, stu uh, green stuff. Um, Mongolian type um, beard. Okay, guys. Listen, you take care and I will see you very, very soon.